All right, Caroline, thank you. It is just about 642 right now. Of course, we are not seeing anything like that down south. Right now, we do want to get you a check of your forecast, see what the rest of what's left of your weekend is looking like on this Sunday morning. Meteorologist Matt Scott, good morning. Good morning, and what's left of Delta will be affecting us over the next 48 hours. We'll show you that on the cloud and radar picture in just a second. Not nearly as potent as the video that we just showed you a moment ago from down into Lake Charles. Man, tough, 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 tough summer for them. Uh, two, two major storms in the span of less than two months. Let's talk about what we have around here. And, you know, if there was a way that we can get all of that rain slowly over the next few weeks instead of obviously no wind, uh, no surge, it would be badly needed around here because it was a very dry summer, as you know. Right now, as we take a look at Hartford, things uh, slowly starting to brighten up with the sunlight coming in over the next few minutes. Uh, and it will be a sunny start to the day, but temperatures, which are starting warm, are going to end up more seasonal today, a lot cooler than what we saw yesterday. 63 degrees with a north-north wind right now, 7 miles an hour. Rest of the big board is 64 degrees in New Haven, 61 in Groton. Temperatures in the 50s, up Route 8 from Waterbury to Torrington. And then we have the upper 50s up to 395 corridor as well. Cloud and radar picture over the last few hours just showing you a few clouds, mainly down over southwestern parts of the state, southwestern Connecticut. And slowly but surely, the clouds are going to overtake the state. It's just going to be a while before the rain associated with the clouds and the rain gets here. There you go. You can see a little bit, mainly down over the bottom of your screen, parts of uh, Virginia right now in the Shenandoah Valley over to the Hampton Roads, Norfolk area. And then we'll broaden the view and show you as we go down to the south, there's a decent amount of rain, including a couple of thunderstorms moving into Charlotte right now over across uh, the uh, into the Golden, uh, excuse me, the Research Triangle in Raleigh, uh, Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill. That's the three making the triangle. And then the showers uh, over into uh, the Virginias as well, the Tennessee Valley, just steady. And that's what's coming here. The heavier stuff may stay just to the south of us over the next 24 to 48 hours. And yes, that means one to two days of rain. That's exactly what we need around here. Here's the guidance. Again, you're going to see the clouds slowly uh, overtake the state later on this afternoon into the evening period is when we'll look for overcast skies. And the first bit of rain gets here by dawn tomorrow. The morning commute will be wet. By the way, so will the evening one as we look for a decent swath of rain pushing through. And again, if you notice the bottom of your screen again, focus there for a moment, you'll notice there's some more moderate to heavier rain, some tough stuff in the cards for uh, Long Island and possibly even the shoreline, maybe towards New London County. We'll keep an eye on that as we go through Monday and into Tuesday. When all said and done, we're looking at the potential of about one to two inches of rain, heavier amounts down on the shore. We'll keep an eye on that for any flooding potential because too much too soon is never a good thing, but a good steady rain, especially over two days, may just be what the doctor ordered. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s for your highs today. Again, that's where where we should be. Yesterday was a bonus day. Increasing the clouds overnight, we'll see some rain by dawn with an overnight low near 50 degrees. And in the seven day forecast, look at tomorrow only topping out in the lower 50s Ugh, with the rain pretty much consistent all day long. Tuesday, the rain winds down early and then the numbers start to return to, uh, well, better than normal levels. Your normal should be 65. We'll be at 70, 68 to 73 for the second half of the work week with a decent amount of sunshine. All right, that's a look at the forecast. More coming up in just a few minutes right now. Here's Aisha Bo.